It's getting a little late in the game to start studying right now, isn't it? But it's also tough to see the forest for the trees here. And by that, I mean there's a ton of world history to know, and it's kind of hard to know what you don't know. Today, let's review some last minute study ideas that might actually help you on the exam a few days from now. Time is short, and you don't need me screaming at you for 10 minutes here. Here's my top five suggestion as to what you can do right now to help you do better on the exam in a few days. Number five in my top five, rewatch all the videos in the countdown prior to this one and the ads that accompany them. But seriously, all in all, the videos I made for this countdown clock in at just under five hours. Make a chart like this. List the units on the left side, and every time I say something you are unfamiliar with or unsure about, write that down. Five hours later, you know exactly what you don't know. A personalized study guide for you to focus on for the next 48 hours. Number four, look back at your class notes. I just went over what the College Board specifically says you have to know. That's what the countdown was all about. But there is way more to world history than what the College Board says you have to know. And I'm sure your teacher is some kind of crazy historical genius. Flip back through the year page by page through your class notes. And you'll get a bigger picture of world history as you lived it in your history class this year. Number three, watch the second half of the history of the world, I guess. I linked it in the description below, so it starts at roughly the time that this course starts, around 1200. I'm not sure how much this will help you, but this is the most world history you're probably gonna know at any point until you get to college. So this is the point where that video will make the most sense and be the funniest to you. Number two, pick one of the big units and just study that one today. Not every unit is made equally. Units three, four, five, and six will be more represented on the exam than units one, two, seven, eight, or nine. Land empires, maritime empires, revolutions, and imperialism could all be worth 15% on the exam. You are statistically more likely to get multiple choice questions, SAQs, and DBQs from these units than any others. Which one is the weirdest or the least familiar to you? Study that one today. Number one, the people to know. Finally, head on over to freemanpedia.com and scroll through the people to know section. As usual, I have way more here than you need, but they are all either explicitly or implicitly mentioned in the curriculum. Scroll through and see who you recognize and more importantly, who you don't recognize. Oh, <laughs> you are close. You've been studying this stuff for a while and I have one last piece of advice for you. See you tomorrow.